Unidentified Alien, The City Ships of Alpha. The first travelers to Alpha Centauri after the signing of the trade agreement in 2039 were scientific teams dispatched to work with their new colleagues in the exchange of knowledge, which was to be so fruitful for both parties. Whereas the diplomatic missions had remained within the confines of Alpha's capital, Ergotha, the scientists were able to travel freely in the company of their opposite numbers. It was during their early explorations, made to familiarize themselves with the culture of their hosts, that they first saw what must stand as the greatest technological marvels of known space, the city ships of Alpha. It is impossible to convey the overwhelming impact that these extraordinary constructions have on those who have seen them firsthand. Situated in the vast, bleak desert region of Alpha-1, they dominate the horizon until the curvature of the surface hides them from view. The Alpha Centaurians themselves are uncertain of their exact age and origin, as they have been there throughout recorded history and are shrouded in myth and legend. Three of these megalithic structures exist and are obviously inhabited, but there has never been any communication with their occupants as far as the Alpha Centaurians are aware. Attempts to communicate have always failed, while landings on their upper surfaces have proved impossible as a protective field diverts any object making an approach. It is believed that the citizens of these strange edifices have never participated in the evolution of other life forms on the planet and have always remained within the perimeters of this otherwise lifeless region. The most remarkable and almost inconceivable aspect of the cities is that they are capable of flight. Every few years, one or more of them rises silently from the huge pedestal on which it rests and moves through the thin atmosphere to a similar stone column in another area of the desert. These columns are scattered throughout the district, though never less than a thousand miles apart, and there seems no reason why one should differ from another. The Alpha scientists have tried to identify a pattern in these movements, but no consistencies can be found either in the journeys of the cities or in the sighting of the columns. One thing which is certain is that they represent a level of technological knowledge that we can only guess at. Their means of propulsion, for example, obviously depends on a gravity resist process of some kind, but how the enormous power this would require is generated cannot be explained. It seems to be a natural law that conversion of energy must always result in a byproduct, whether heat, light, or converted matter. The byproduct from such a level of energy must be correspondingly great, but what it is or where it goes is another question. Seismographic surveys have established that the columns consist of solid masonry, while their temperature, with that of the air surrounding the city, fails to show any untoward variation. Popular hypotheses abound. They are even, perhaps inevitably, regarded as the seats of deities and are the focus of a number of religious factions. Another view widely held is that the inhabitants are the ancestors of the humanoid races and are now quietly observing the evolution of their progeny. Only time, and probably a great deal of it, will tell whether we shall eventually be allowed to contact with whatever intelligence has shaped these objects. Meanwhile, they exist as awe-inspiring enigmas that have a profound and somewhat humbling effect on all who see them. Not surprisingly, of the visitors who have made the journey to the desert, a great number return to contemplate the city ships of Alpha again. Mm -hmm.